Howdy, this is a video showcasing a graphics programming tool that I've been working on over the past few weeks called DrawLisp. Uh, let's see, the main, uh, the main cell for this is that, you know, you can just create a window uh, in an interactive programming shell and just do stuff with it. So, um, you know, it's a little bright. Oops. So let's, uh, let's set the clear color to... Uh, something much darker, like maybe uh, 30, 40, 50. That should be a nice pleasing color. And then we could just call clear. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, Draw Lisp, as the name would suggest, is a member of the Lisp family of programming languages. So for example, um, here's how basic addition would be written. So. You take this first element, that's your function, and then the rest of the elements uh, of this whole list is the arguments that, that you pass to this function. Right, and this means that uh, you know you don't have anything like uh, order of operations or anything, because it's all decided by parentheses. Right, and uh, for plus in particular, as well as the other math operations, you can also apply, uh, or you, you can have multiple arguments uh, besides just two you can have more than two arguments, or less than two. <laughs> uh, let's see. We can also create a list of uh, numbers with something like range. Range 10 will give us the numbers from 0 to 10, excluding 10. Uh, and then we can manipulate uh, manipulate these uh, lists using something like math, for example. Uh, lambda x is just going to define a function that uh, it's just going to define a function and we're passing it to map and then we can also pass range 10 in parentheses right and this will apply this function to every element in this list right so you can see it has the effect of squaring every number right we can also um, say filter um, for example we could check if x is equal to um, 5 right so maybe not equal to 5 and this will include every number except for 5 we could also do um, fold for example so we could fold plus 0 range 10 and somehow, magically, this sums up every number between 0 and 10, not including 10. Right, so this is the operation that, that we're applying on every element of this range uh, with the initial element 0. It's a little complicated to explain, but, but this is our primary mechanism for um, drawing shapes, or doing loops, my bad. Uh, if we want to draw shapes, we can... Uh, well, there are... Uh, there are three shapes currently implemented. There's point, line, and rect. All right, we can see what rect looks like. Uh, 50, 50 is just going to give us our x, y coordinate, and we can make it a width of 100 and a height of 100. And you can see this is what it looks like. Uh, maybe difficult to see uh, on a low resolution, but this has a black border. All right, and that's because our stroke is uh, defaulting to black. If we want, we can uh, set the stroke color to... Uh, something else. Say it's red. Right, and then if we apply the same command again, uh, now it has a red border. And uh, let's see. Well, now we can use fold to, um, or perhaps map, I should say. Right, these are our primary forms of, of doing any sort of loops. Uh, the only form besides recursion, which is kind of difficult right now, but that's something I'll hopefully fix later. So right, let's take some x, and then we can do a uh, rect of x times 10. And let's say that's the, oops, 
let's say that's our x and y position, right? And then a width of just 100 and 100. And you can see that's drawn uh, all the x's from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way to 100. Right, it's also uh, returned this list of empty elements. Uh, right, we could continue this on. And uh, let's see. I guess uh, now I can talk about the uh, something very cool I think Draw Lisp does, which is something called lexical settings, right? So currently our lexical settings are our clear color, which is this grayish, our fill color, which is this white, and uh, our stroke color, which is this red, right? And these are things that are uh, controlled by let. And let is just how you define variables in, in uh, Draw Lisp, right? So you can see x is now 50. I can do uh, times x times 10. All right, you can also omit this this uh, top level of parentheses. Uh, and you can see, we, we can also similarly ask for like, uh, what's our stroke color right now? And it'll say it's red. And we can also ask for our fill color, which we have not set yet. And you can see it's the color white. Right, and the important thing about variables in this language is that they are lexically scoped, which is to say, uh, if you exit a block, you also um, forget all of the variables defined within that block, right? We have not really defined any variables within a block yet, so we could do that. Um, say let um, draw cool box, and that's a uh, lambda. We could say it takes two arguments, x and y, and then it'll um, set the fill color to, uh, let's make it a very garish green. <laughs> uh, set the stroke color to white. Uh, yeah, white is available as a built-in value, as is black. And, you know, hopefully by 0 0.2 I'll have added more colors than just those two. And now we can draw a rectangle from X and Y, and let's make it, um, smaller 50 to 50 and now we can uh there we go close the parens you can see it's uh this is the lambda function that it's given us and now if we want to we can now draw a cool box uh let's draw it at 300 300 there it is that's our cool box and uh i should maybe position it in a better position so you can see the stroke color there you go you can see our stroke color is white now, if you're coming from existing uh, kind of programming drawing tools like Processing or P5.js, you might expect now, um, if we were to, for example, uh, draw a new rectangle, uh, let's say at 100 and 300, you might expect this to be green with a white, uh, white stroke color. But in fact, no, it keeps this old stroke color because um, this rectangle was drawn in a block that, that newly defined these fill and stroke colors. And so when we exited this block, um, we, we lost these values, right? We forgot them and we switched back to the old default values, right? And this means, you know, if you, if you, you know, draw a rectangle, uh, you know, we can make this a block with begin, uh, you know, draw a rectangle and then call any old function and then draw another rect. <laughs> this is not going to work very well. Yeah. Uh, you know, we know that this any old FN is not going to change our uh, draw settings between this rect and this rect, right? They will have the exact same uh, lexical settings. And the reason they're called lexical settings is because, uh, is because they're lexically scoped, much like variables, right? Because they are variables. Uh, it's just they also get a little bit of extra special treatment when you define or 
when you define them or, or when you leave a block that defines them. Uh, so yeah, I believe that's everything I had to say. Uh, you can exit with a semicolon. And yeah, uh, I'll hopefully be uh, hard at work on 0.0.2, .0 and that'll be releasing May 1st, whatever features it may have. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Thank you.